The Fifth Circuit of Appeals in New Orleans decided the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives did not have the authority to define bump stocks as machine guns, which are heavily restricted. A bump stock attaches to a semi-automatic rifle to allow a shooter to fire continuously by using the recoil of the firearm to hit the trigger in rapid succession. Judge Jennifer Walker Elrod wrote in the opinion, a plain reading of the statutory language paired with close consideration of the mechanics of a semi-automatic firearm reveals that a bump stock is excluded from the technical definition of machine gun set forth by the Gun Control Act and National Firearms Act. Bump stocks were used in the 2017 Las Vegas shooting that killed 58 people and injured hundreds, and it spurred political pressure to ban the devices nationwide. And at the end of 2018, the Justice Department gave bump stock owners 90 days to destroy or turn in the devices. What happened in Las Vegas was terrible, um, but to do a knee-jerk reaction and just to go in everyone's home in the United States and grab a particular product just because a person might have used that product is not the American way. Central Texas Gun Works owner Michael Cargill surrendered his bump stocks but wanted to fight against it. So he filed a lawsuit against the Department of Justice and ATF. He says the case is not about gun control, but who has the constitutional right to change the law, stating the Justice Department doesn't have the right to issue the ban. The federal government cannot rewrite law. You know, this goes, we're talking about triggers, we're talking about AR pistols, we're talking about everything that the ATF wants to ban. We're saying you need to stop because you just can't change your mind one day and create a law. You can't do that. You can't ban something. Congress has to write a law and that's how it becomes 